All right, so we're looking at question number 54 on the study guide. We're using the um, compound interest formula. It asks us to find the time, T, that's the only part not given in the problem. They tell us that we're investing, for example, $19,000 and we want it to grow to $22,599.45 to be specific. <laughs> And uh, it's compounded at 7%, so I've changed that to a decimal, and it's quarterly. So I've got a 4, and the 4 goes in both of those places. So that's all the input information for this example. And now the challenge is working backwards to solve this equation. The first thing I recommend that you do uh, is simplify. One thing you can simplify this parentheses, since all of those are doable numbers, no, no variables in the parentheses, so you can work that out. Um, and also, we cannot times this together like you might want to do because the exponent supersedes that in the order of operations. So the first thing you can do, you can always simplify that, but then the first operation then is to divide out the 19,000 to each side. So that's what I've done here. Uh, I would go divide by 19,000, divide by 19,000 to cancel that part off of the equation, bringing the 19,000 over to the other side and leaving this simplified as 1.0175 raised to the 4t. So, uh, and, and just in general, when you're solving these types of equations, just always simplify the things that you can do up front uh, before you start using logarithms. Once we get to this point, and we could type this on our calculator and get the decimal, but I recommend not until the very end just to keep the answer the most intact. Um, so the, the deal here is you have an, two bases and then you've got an exponent. This one's just to the first power, but when you have an unknown exponent, <clears throat> that is the essence of logarithms. Why we do log, one of, the, one of the purposes or uses of logarithms is we can bring the exponents down as a multiplier. So we take the log of each side so that this exponent will come down. So the next step you can see that I've done that. I just basically wrote the log or took the log of each side. So the log of this side, that division, and then the log of this side. Uh, again, and then on the next step, you'll see I brought this down. So I just wanted to demonstrate that by using logarithms. And it can be base 10 log like this one or the base E log, just either one because they're on your calculator. And we'll be able to type it in here in a minute. All right, then once I get the exponent down, now I have, I'm still focused on this t variable. You're trying to solve for t. So it's got a multiplier of 4 and a multiplier of this log 1.0175. Both of those are just constants of some sort. So we divide by the 4 to get the 4 to cancel. And we divide by the log, whatever log of 1.0175 is. We divide that out, thus leaving just the t. So we divide on that side, so thus we have to divide on this side, the 4 and the log 1.0175, giving us this problem to get out of our calculator. So I wanted to demonstrate how you might type that in your calculator carefully. Uh, one thing I would note is you, you'll need a lot of parentheses. The way it's written here, um, if you typed it in straight up, you might have a problem because you need a parenthesis around all the numerator to tell your calculator that's the numerator divided by this is the denominator. So the way I would type that in, let's see if we can see this here. I don't know if that's clear enough. I'm going to type it in again so you can watch me type it in and see. I would type in open parenthesis. Let me clear that. Open parenthesis and then log and I'm using my Calculate 84 app. I, I find that's my easiest one I feel like to type on. Uh, log of, and then it opens another parenthesis where I type in 22,599.45 divided by the 19,000. Now see how that parenthesis is closed? So I've got the log of that division, and then I close the numerator. So I need to get arrowed over out of all that, and then put a divide and then open another parenthesis for the denominator, the 4 times log, and notice it has a parenthesis for what I'm going to type in for log, 1.0175, and then I could arrow, arrow out of that as well. Oh, I must have forgotten something. Oh, I forgot a zero. I was like, that's not the right answer. I did it earlier, um, so I'm going to have to arrow back over and make my 19,000. There we go. <laughs> so to get all that typed in right, you should get, in this case, two 
oh, a little battery, 2.5, it says round to the nearest tenth, so 2.5 would be my answer, and that, that stands for T, amount of years, and so it takes 2.5 years at 7%, compounded quarterly, all the stuff we set up there, for that money to grow at that rate.